Okay, I just purchased the Wen uh, 10 inch drill press with a laser. And it's model 4210. I'm going to check out what's inside here. Cardboard. It looks really well packed. Instruction manual. This is the base. I guess it takes batteries for the laser. table and we've got some parts and we've got some tools right here a couple allen wrenches some bolts we've got a little box right here this is the chuck Nice. Here's the key. There's the post. Everything's got a nice little um, layer of oil on it to protect from rust. This is the main unit and the motor. This must be the laser down here. And there we go. Oh, These look like to be maybe 10 millimeter or 13 maybe. I think it's 10. That's good that moves around. So, how 
where does this go on? Got some. There's a lot of grease inside of here. Um, I would imagine this has to come off. See, there's a flat side on here. I want to get that on the flat side. Out come the instructions. Uh, I like to try to just put stuff together real quick if I can. We gotta look at this now. I've set that on there. Yeah, I'm doing it. Except for that. All right. Adjustability. Put the ring back on. And does that fit in a? No. This just goes right on like that. I think I'll set it up so this is right there. <clears throat> Tighten that up. Tighten up. So I'll have to get, let me see if that's a 10. It might be 10 or 12. the 10. No, I think it's a 12. <clears throat> no, 13. <sighs> yep, 13 will work. It could be a standard. I'm not sure. Fits pretty good. We'll 
tighten all those down later. So the four bolts go into the bottom of the stand here. We've got this on. <coughs> this just slips right on the top. the motor okay those are tight there's two hex bolts hex Allen, Allen key wrench we'll get it the bigger one and there goes our lens for the laser and this is the laser right here And snug. Line that up. So that moves. That's pretty nice. Cool. I'm gonna tighten these Allen, Allen bolts down. And we got these pieces going to here. Figure that out. It's more of an angle. <clears throat> we got the batteries. Here's the chuck. So I have to figure out how to put that on. I've never done one of these before. Yeah, that's like a tapered thing. And it's basically put together. So this is the little compartment for the batteries um, to run the little, I think that's the light and there's a laser, it's LED light. This cap keeps falling off so I might have to fix it somehow. We're focused in a little too far. And there we go. We'll put these batteries in. One. It's pretty straightforward to put this thing together. There's that. So we assemble this first, put the four bolts in that are with a 13 millimeter wrench. Uh, you know, put this through and slide that whole thing together after you take this ring off, then put the ring back on. This just slides around in there. And the whole top sits right on the post and tighten these Allen uh, nuts down or bolts down and uh, this is just a tapered fitting. I, I don't know if I hammered it up far enough. It looks like it might want to fit into that uh, groove right there 
that I used the rubber mallet, lower the deck all the way down, pound that up, and um, we'll put it on the bench and see what it does. So Menards has this 11% off rebate thing, and this is where this drill press was. And I was buying a lot of, of equipment through the summer for jobs and stuff, or just product. And I managed to save up about close to $100 in those rebate coupons, and this is what I bought. It's the only drill press. Well, they have another model that's smaller. It doesn't have the laser on it and stuff. Um, this one was about $120 uh, before tax. Here's our laser. Um, here's the light, and we'll see what we got here. This is the first drilling. I had this old oak piece right here, making a sign out of the other half of it. Let's see, is that going to go right where the laser is? Yep. Cool, we have a drill press in the shop now. That's pretty neat. Okay, thanks for watching. Got this thing together. I got a wet saw to put together next for this tile job. Have a good one, everyone. Later. So overall, with the product so far, just unpacking it, I think it was packed well, and uh, the manual's really nice. Uh, it's pretty much straightforward. Shows you pictures. Total assembly. How to put it together. There's that part right there. And I was just looking at it for, uh, you know, where to put the chuck, uh, the, what do you, the key. And it goes up in here, and I guess this is probably pretty, how would that go in there? It's supposed to, I'll get that working. Oh, it fits right in there. That works good. That's storage for that. Um, make sure this is tightened. Well, this is like how far... I haven't used one of these in a long time. It's the only tool. I, maybe I'll be using it a lot more. I know I'm going to make a metal stand for my light system at home for the, the basil plant. And uh, I'll be using this to drill the holes in the metal for that stand I'm going to make. We'll see how that goes. This is the upper compartment. They give you the number. For the product, if you have to call in or anything, it's pretty well put together for, you know, probably a Chinese thing. I'm pretty impressed so far. Looks like a nice unit. It'll do the job. And there's a whole exploded view of every piece to this machine which is cool and they have everything labeled over here and yes it is made in China you know sometimes these days things are starting to be made in Taiwan and uh, it's, it's changing a little bit now and there's your customer support alright later